Thank you, Jody Kulig, for that beautiful rendition of the National Anthem. Welcome family, friends, staff, and faculty, trustees, and community members, and most importantly, our graduates of Waukesha County Technical College, Class of 2021. My name is Angela Frazier Arthur, WCTC's Vice President of Student Services, and I am, as well as the rest of us, are so excited to celebrate this important educational milestone with you and honor you and all that you have achieved. Because of the ongoing coronavirus and the pandemic, colleges nationwide have continued to come up with creative ways to honor their graduates. At WCTC, our leadership team and graduation committee, and thanks to all these hardworking people, chose a virtual option as we felt an online ceremony was the best way to celebrate and keep everyone safe during these unusual times. But here's the good news. We are in a better place with the virus compared to a year ago so that it's promising as we look ahead to the summer months. Our spring virtual event will feature many elements found in a traditional ceremony just present it to you in an alternative way. And you'll hear from Dr. Richard Barnhouse, our college president, David Lancaster, chair of WCTC's District Board of Trustees, alumnus Michael Halstead, our keynote speaker, Dr. Brad Piazza, our vice president of learning, Alyssa Anderson, our student speaker, I love Alyssa and you will enjoy her, and deans from the individual schools, including Bethany Leonard, Michael Shields, Kim Aylard, Michelle Nelson, and Greg West. We will also award or recognize award recipients. They'll be honored and each graduate will be recognized individually by name for earning either a technical diploma, associate degree, or certificate. There will be some fun surprises at the end of the ceremony, so make sure you watch to the end. On behalf of WCTC's President's Executive Cabinet, I want to wish you, and we all want to wish you, congratulations on your academic success. Today is a significant and empowering day for you. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce our new college president, Dr. Richard Barnhouse, who will address our graduates and their families. Dr. Barnhouse? Thank you, Angela, for that introduction. And thank you to everyone joining us today as we honor and recognize the graduating class of 2021. This is an important milestone in your life and it provides a springboard to your future. I am thrilled to be part of this May commencement ceremony as it is the first one I am participating in as president of WCTC. While I've only been in my role since January, I have learned in that short time that our students are tenacious, resilient, and determined. This past year, no doubt, has its share of challenges brought on by a global pandemic we have never seen the likes of in more than 100 years. In addition, you, our students, have met those challenges head on and persevered. You adapted quickly to changing the way you learn and you kept moving forward to meet your goals. For that, I applaud you. 
You set out to earn your diploma, your degree, or your certificate, and you did it. We must also recognize our gra graduates' friends and family members for their encouragement and support, and of course, our incredible faculty who kept our students motivated and on track during these unusual times. I would also like to note our new academic calendar, which was new to most graduates. Last summer, we launched our year-round eight-week calendar. It is a terrific model that helps reduce our students' time to degree and allows them to master coursework in shorter time frames. For some of you, this calendar was similar to how you learned in previous academic settings. And for others, it has been entirely new. To launch a new academic calendar during normal times is an enormous feat, but to do so in the midst of a health crisis is even a bigger one. Nevertheless, in true WCTC style, faculty and students thrived. And I want to thank you for being patient during our inaugural year of the eight-week calendar. Having worked in higher education my entire career, I have been fortunate to meet people in many different circles from both four and two year colleges. I have long felt that technical education is the most noble and rewarding part of the academy. We have an important role in changing individuals and changing communities. We regularly hear from employers about how our graduates come to the workforce eager, prepared, and ready to get down to business. You, our graduates, make us proud because you put your education to work and make a difference. As the president of WCTC, I am honored to be part of this community, and I congratulate you here today on your achievements. Now, I would like to acknowledge and thank the WCTC District Board of Trustees for providing us with guidance and leadership. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce David Lancaster, board chair, who will say a few words. Thank you, President Barnhouse, for that introduction. On behalf of the Waukesha County Technical College District Board of Trustees, I would like to congratulate all of our 2021 graduates. Education truly changes lives, and we are thrilled you gave us the chance and opportunity to be part of your academic journey. This past year has had its share of challenges, but it's also created numerous opportunities. The pandemic has changed how you live, how you work, and how you learn. And on this day, you've reached your academic goals. We applaud your success. I wish you well as you continue your life's journey, and thank you again for entrusting Waukesha County Technical College with your education. Next, I would like to introduce WCTC alumnus, Michael Hostad, who will serve today as our keynote speaker. Michael graduated in 2000 from WCTC's Microcomputer Specialist Program, which is now known as IT Computer Support Specialist. He went on to earn his bachelor's degree in business from Cardinal Stritch University and quickly became a rising star in the web and mobile technology field. He has earned many honors along the way, such as inclusion in Milwaukee Business Journal's 40 Under 40 list, as well as Executives to Watch and Cardinal Stritch's Graduate of the Last Decade. Michael is a staunch supporter of higher education and business partnerships that work together to retain high-performing talent in the Milwaukee area. For the past seven years, he has been the Executive Director of the Commons, an initiative of the Greater Milwaukee Committee. The Commons works with area high schools, colleges, and business and community organizations to build a vibrant ecosystem of the most driven talent in the region. Prior to this, Michael spent several years working at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. He was the Chancellor's designee for entrepreneurship and innovation, the Director of Web and Mobile Strategy, and the Campus Web Architect. Before his time at UWM, he operated his own web development business and worked at a financial services company as a web content developer. Michael has had many, has also been active in many community and professional organizations, among them Light the Hone, 
the City of Milwaukee Millennial Task Force, and the Regional Transit Leadership Council. Thank you, Michael, for being with us today and inspiring our graduates to even greater success. Thank you, Chairman Lancaster. I appreciate that kind introduction. First and foremost, congratulations on achieving this major milestone in your academic career. Uh, speaking from experience, the foundation that you're getting with a WCTC degree is second to none, and I'm confident that many significant opportunities await each of you. Second, this is a little weird, isn't it? Uh, I'll bet most of you didn't think you'd be getting your degree virtually. I certainly didn't think I'd be giving a virtual commencement address, but, well, to be honest, I didn't think I'd be giving any sort of commencement address. But here we are. So if the last year has taught us anything, it's that change is a constant. And even if you're like me and think you're prepared for just about anything, toss in a global pandemic and just watch that preparation go right out the window as you steal toilet paper from the office bathroom before you take one last look back at a desk that you won't sit at again for at least a year. Oh, and if anyone hasn't already told you, you're graduating into this new world. It's a little scary, isn't it? But don't worry, it's gonna be okay. And take that from a tightly wound control freak like me, because change is a constant. In looking back at my career since I graduated from WCTC in 2000, I've done a lot of things. I've worked in IT, I've built a mobile application innovation lab, helped a lot of young people get connected to opportunities, I've sat on some boards of directors, and I lit a bridge in Milwaukee. Outside of working in IT at the beginning of my career, however, I never would have expected the path that my career has since taken. And now it's safe to say that I've really come to crave change. So while change is a constant and it can be a very good thing, there are probably some things that should stay consistent as you make your way through the ups and downs of what's next for you. I challenge you to think about what those things might be for you. In the midst of all the craziness that might be going on in your life at any given moment, what are those constant principles in your life? Maybe they're career related, maybe they're family related, maybe they're tied to your faith. Because when life might seem a little upside down, like it does right now, those constant elements can be a lifeboat in rough seas. So I thought I'd take a few minutes to share some of the consistent principles, some of my consistent principles with you. These are three things that I keep in mind on the regular, and while they may have a bit of a career focus to them, I've really found them to be applicable across all aspects of my life. First, never stop thinking about what's next. Today, you're graduating from WCTC. What's next for you? I found that being goal-oriented not only keeps me moving, it prevents me from getting bored. And some days, those goals were big. They were like, hey, let's light the Hone Bridge. And other days, they were simply, hey, just get up tomorrow when the alarm goes off and try again. Thinking about what's next for you doesn't mean you have to change jobs every two years and upgrade to the bigger house or the more luxurious car. It's really more about what's going to challenge you next, what's going to push you out of your comfort zone, what's going to make you a better person, what's going to build your confidence to help you take that next big step. When you're thinking about what's next, you're always growing. Second, help someone along the way. Take a minute to think about who has helped you through your journey at WCTC. Maybe it's a parent or a sibling, maybe it's a mentor, a significant other, Maybe it's that guy sitting next to you on the couch right now in sweatpants. Just keep in mind that as you progress into your career or the next career or the one after that, there will be people who will help you along the way. And they're helping you because someone once helped them when, it was, when they were in your shoes. Now it's your turn. So with every advancement that you make, I'd encourage you to look back and reach your hand out. Bring someone with you. I've been so fortunate to have people do this for me, but it only works if it's a two-way street. Finally, have a positive impact, and this is the big one. This is the one that all other constants fall under for me. It's the thing that puts my feet on the floor each morning. That impact, though, has definitely changed over the years. At first, when I graduated, it just felt good to help someone with their IT problem. I'd say, you know, uh, if you reboot more than once a year and don't have 2,000 tabs open in your browser at the same time, your email might not be so slow. And I'd walk away feeling, ah, yes, I just had an impact uh, on someone's life. And, and while those impacts for me look a little bit different today, the goal remains the same. What can I do today that'll have a positive impact on someone tomorrow? It's easy to read the news these days and think that we've completely forgotten how to be good to each other. And, you know, to be clear, some of us definitely have. 
But the majority of us, like this entire graduating class at WCTC, have both the ability and the desire to have a positive impact. Figure out what that means for you, and it doesn't have to be Nobel Prize worthy. Case in point, I spent five years of my life working to install interactive lights on a bridge that was once known as the Bridge to Nowhere. And after all that work, I always figured that the first time we'd turn them on for the whole city to see would be the best and most impactful part of that project. And, and don't get me wrong, it was super cool. But it was really the night before when we were testing. It, we were at the county boat launch. We were with a laptop changing the colors and animations. And we noticed the small boy with his dad standing there watching us do our tests. I called out to him and asked him what his favorite color was. He told us purple. Instantly, we changed the bridge to show brightly in purple. His mind was blown. He was smiling and happy. That was the impact that came for me from that project. So your impact doesn't have to be huge. Just make it a positive one. Today, you're graduating with an education that will serve as a strong foundation for you to build upon, whatever that is and whatever that looks like. And get ready for that change, because when you're smart and capable, change will come to you and spend some time thinking about those constant principles in your life. Use all of that together to make a positive impact. Congratulations, and I wish you the very best in what's next for you. Next, I'd like to introduce Dr. Brad Piazza, WCTC's Vice President of Learning. Brad? Thank you, Michael. As we celebrate our graduates today, I take great pride in all that our students have achieved. WCTC is a transformative place where students come to learn the skills needed to be effective in the workforce. They learn these skills through the tireless efforts of our talented instructors who are experts in their field. I am especially proud of our faculty for their tenacity during this pandemic and their unwavering commitment to our students. Now I would like to take a moment to acknowledge our students who are graduating with honors. WCTC students are recognized for their leadership and scholastic achievements by two honor societies and by the president of WCTC. The National Technical Honor Society recognizes students in one or two year technical diploma programs who have earned a grade point average of 3.0 on a four point scale. Phi Theta Kappa or PTK is an international honor society for students enrolled in a two-year associate degree program who have achieved a grade point average of 3.5 or higher in their program of study. Additionally, those earning a 3.5 GPA or higher are designated as WCTC President's Honor Students. Congratulations to these students for their outstanding academic achievements. I would also like to acknowledge the many student veterans who attend WCTC and are graduating in 2021. We are proud of your achievements, and we thank you for your service to our country. Next, I'd like to recognize the WCTC Foundation. Over the past 24 years, the Foundation has received more than $28.6 million in charitable donations to benefit WCTC students and programs. During this past year and in the initial stages of the, of the pandemic, the foundation launched an appeal to help students pay for internet access, technology rentals, transportation, and other emergency needs. Many of our students had felt the financial effects of the pandemic, and these emergency funds helped during a critical time. A special thank you to the foundation and its president, Ellen Phillips. At every graduation, we highlight exceptional students who demonstrate remarkable success, and we honor them with an outstanding student award. This semester, we present this award to four students. To be eligible for this award, students must have a 3.0 and be nominated collectively by faculty from their respective program. Students are asked to complete an application, submit a professional resume, and participate in an interview with members of the awards committee. They are then chosen based on their interviews and application materials. This semester's winners include Alyssa Anderson from the School of Applied Technologies, Ryan Fields from the School of Business, Kimberly Deering from the School of Health, and Jonathan Donner from the School of Protective and Human Services. These students will be introduced later in the ceremony by individual school deans. 
Another award the college presents is the GRIT Award. This is given to a student who has a compelling story of determination and resilience that we, as a college, should be commended. The award recipient demonstrates the characteristics of courage, resolve, strength of character, perseverance, and determination, even in the face of adversity. Jonathan Donner, our Outstanding Student Award winner for the School of Protective and Human Services, is also receiving the GRIT Award. More of his story will be shared later in the ceremony. Finally, I'd like to recognize our Citizen Service Award recipient, and that is Aaron Yagfeld, CEO of Generac Power Systems. This award is presented to an individual who gives of his or her time, talent, skills and resources towards the advancement of technical education. Over the years, Generac has been an outstanding supporter of the college and its School of Applied Technologies by providing financial gifts, donating equipment, hiring students and graduates, and having employees serve on advisory committees. Generac has also partnered with WCTC's Corporate Training Center to educate their global workforce. Aaron's commitment to technical education is admirable, and the collaborations between WCTC and Generac help strengthen our community. Congratulations to all of our award recipients. You are all deserving of these honors. Next, our student speaker, Alyssa Anderson, will address the class of 2021. Thank you, Dr. Piazza, for that introduction. Good morning, distinguished guests, family, friends, and of course, the graduating class of 2021. I'm honored to be your student commencement speaker. I hope you all have found creative ways to celebrate this day. I was recently skimming the syllabus from one of my final spring two courses. My plan was to scroll all the way down to the course calendar of assignments and quiz dates, bypassing everything between that and the header. This time, however, I stopped and looked really closely at the infamous linked critical life skills. I realized that in addition to whatever the content was in each of our classes, the ultimate goal of our WCTC education was to teach us these four critical life skills so we are equipped for what happens outside of school. The list includes communication, critical thinking and problem solving, building relationships, and self-management. As I pause to reflect on this list, I realize that all of these skills have been demonstrated to me many ways beyond just coursework, and I'd like to give you specific instances of when I saw each of these critical life skills within my experience at WCTC. Let's start with communication. My instructors demonstrated the importance of good communication in March 2020, at the start of the pandemic, when they had only two weeks to transition from face-to-face -to, -face to online courses. Not only did they have to create meaningful coursework but also, that also resembled our in-person work, but they also had to communicate with us what was going on every step of the way. Nat Turner once said, good communication is the bridge between confusion and clarity. And if ever there was a time we needed that bridge, it was last year. Instructors gave us their best effort to keep us informed. My peers have showcased their critical thinking and problem solving in pretty much every lab course I've taken, and I've had a bunch in my automation program. It always amazes me the variety of solutions people come up with that would have never crossed my mind. Einstein said, education is not the learning of facts, but the training of the mind to think, and we've been given many opportunities to stretch and grow in our thinking. Building relationships and interpersonal skills were modeled by the staff in the Student Development Office. One of the Student Development's roles is to supplement a student's academic experience by offering a variety of experiences to students on campus. I was involved with Student Development through my work in the Student Government Association. Not only did they make an effort to create meaningful connections to students, but they also did so with each other. I spent a lot of hours in their office, and I could tell that the staff genuinely respected each other and enjoyed working together, which, they, which then created an inviting community for others to join. I think this is definitely something every professional environment can strive for, good interpersonal relationships. Lastly, the critical life skill of self-management. We, the 2021 May graduates of WCTC, have shown grit and persistence through really trying circumstances. 
We've succeeded in our programs while also holding down full-time jobs, providing for and raising families, managing competing priorities, navigating life during a global pandemic, and much more. Benjamin Franklin said, energy and persistence conquer all things. Our collective diligence and hard work prove this point. I'm sure you could come up with your own examples of how you've seen these four critical life skills play out during your education here. And you may want to share your thoughts with the supportive people in your life who have encouraged your educational journey. Communication, critical thinking and problem solving, building relationships, self-management. These skills have made you successful at WCTC and these same skills are going to propel you towards excellence in life as you continue to achieve your personal and professional goals. Now, please enjoy this moment. Celebrate with your friends and family. You've earned it. Next, I would like to introduce Bethany Leonard, Dean of the School of Academic Foundations and General Studies. Thank you, Alyssa. The School of Academic Foundations and General Studies helps our students develop basic skills and provides support for success in many courses. We also deliver the general studies courses in math, science, communication, and social sciences, which are part of all associate degree and many technical diploma programs. Graduates, the School of Academic Foundations and General Studies has helped you develop the critical life skills that empower you to communicate effectively with others, solve problems using critical thinking, manage yourselves as professionals, and develop positive, effective relationships with others, including those who are different from yourselves. These are important skills in your jobs and in your lives. They will always serve you well. It is the combination of your occupational and critical life skills that will support your success now and into the future. Best wishes to all of you. Next, Mike Shields from the School of Applied Technologies will introduce the graduates from his school. Thank you, Bethany. The School of Applied Technologies prepares students to meet employers' needs for skilled workers. Through training on state-of-the-art equipment and technology, our graduates develop practical knowledge that can be immediately applied to a range of technical jobs. Our graduates are confident, job ready, and prepared for the rewarding work that lies ahead. It is my privilege today to honor the Outstanding Student Award recipient for the School of Applied Technologies, Alyssa Anderson, who also served as student speaker. Alyssa is graduating from the Automation Systems Technology Program. Some of her accomplishments include serving as the current WCTC District Ambassador, participating in the Student Government Association, including roles as Senator, Secretary Treasurer, Vice President, and President, involvement in the Campus Election Engagement Project, and membership in Phi Theta Kappa and the National Technical Honor Society. Congratulations, Alyssa. And now I'd like to introduce the Applied Technologies graduates who are participating in today's ceremony. Zachary John Abraham Mark David Adams Andrew T. Albert Segar A. Ali Stephen J. Allen Joseph Allen Altieri Blake A. Alvarez Marco Antonio Alvarez Elisa Wells Anderson Martin Andrade Riso Danielle Andrade Trujillo. Adam James Andre. Joshua J. Andrioni. Miguel Andres. Ryan M. 
Eiffel. Micah R. Arndt. Jason L. Bayer. Catherine E. Bonnock. Ash Spring Barbian. Damon Dashen Barnett. Joshua Allen Barron. Rafael A. Basora Hernandez. Braden J. Beso. Trevor Lane Bazan. Spencer J. Beard. Adam R. Becker. Jacob Dixon Begovats. Julianne Poipeo Bailing. Michael H. Benavides. Andrew F. Berg. Bruce Adam Beth. Daniel L. Burdick. Benjamin P. Blyfield. Jackson Charles Bluff. Alexandra Lee Blossmore. James E. Bowman. Stephen Connor Christian Bolt. Colin James Bowman. Colton Christopher Books. Joe Edward Borngesser. Joshua James Bolter. Brandon John Bordo. Nicholas A. Bowers. Sarah M. Breaker. Matthew R. Brayman. Tyler S. Bransky. Jesse William Brausch. Caitlin Brewster. Ben David Broberg. Rolando J. Brown. Ian M. Burbach. Logan M. Burnett. Anthony J. Burroughs. Chauncey S. Burton. Haley M. Burton. Andrew A. Busey. Damian T. Vocek. Michael A. Caccioni. Jonathan H. Carreros. Logan William Carnes. Jacqueline Caro Denuto. Benjamin Michael Corral. Yax E. Chavoya. Jeffrey Gerard Checky. Donald Victor Christensen. 
Yang Chung. Ira D. Clay. Thomas A. Clements. Adam Richard Conley. Benjamin Michael Corey. Robert E. Crawford. Sarah Crowbridge. Maxwell K. Cummings. Brady William Dardis. Jackson C. Duranco. Caitlin A. Davies. Richard R. Davis. Jonathan T. De La Garza. Stephen Derline. Carter J. Delapa. Shane Christopher Dodge. Afugvi Jean Christ Dossie. Logan J. Doherty. Andrew N. Dow. Jack S. Doyle. Ryder J. Dubois. Jordan Tyler Dudek. Hans R. Abenhoff. Christian M. Eddy. Daniel J. Edminster. Jacob Elftman. Ryan A. Antoff. Older E. Esparza Dorado. Michelle Ray Foudy. Nathaniel P. Fazi. Karen J. Feliciano. Mitchell Caton Felix. Ryan Fisher. Owen T. Fisher. Ryan Michael Fitzgerald. Miles Anthony Flash. Kyle Cody Fracaro. Jacob Michael Freeman. Jason Freimer. Nathan Andrew Funk. Nunziella Maria Fouti. Blake Colin Gaffney. Vincent A. Gain. Eric J. Kajusti. Austin J. Garcia. Elias A. Gardano. Benjamin D. Gates. Zachary Charles Gazdick. Lance McKenzie Gebert. Logan Gehring. Lauren Garrett.
Nathan Thomas Deli. Theodore Robert Jerfin. Daniel G. Gibson. Kevin Girak. Isaiah Gibson. Elliot Walter Glappa. Camden C. Glacier. Matthew P. Gertz. Cameron J. Goud. Emily E. Golata. Hendrick M. Golden. Lucas E. Golomsky. Daniel Alberto Gonzalez. Robert A. Godel. Lucas Gabriel Grams. Justin M. Gresk. Zachary Bruschinski. Salvador Guerra. Dustin J. Hessig. Ethan A. Hagen. Sean P. Hagen. Lori Lynn Hake. Cameron J. Hammond. Jacob J. Hammond. David A. Hanscom. Daniel John Hansen. Tyler Hansen. Wyatt W. Hansen. Kyle Harder. Molly Ann Hartzheim. Robert P. Heiligendorf. Nicholas Heim. Spencer W. Heim. Arian Matthew Helker. Christopher Alexander Henn. Derek Daniel Henn. John D. Henning. John Arthur Henningfield. Jared Michael Henricks. Deshay A. Henry. Nelson Hernandez Amaro. Juan M. Hernandez. Brockton Andrew Himes. Min Hoang. Joshua H. Hoffman. Ryan Hooper. Daniel Howell. Cameron David Hubanks. Christopher J. Puta. Evan Jeffrey Hutton. 
Owen D. Isaacson, Patrick M. Jankowiak, Douglas Anthony Jankowski, Chelsea Nicole Jaquith, John Warren Jillick, Jeremiah Johnson. Christian E. Jolly. Daniel James Jones. Anthony J. Drolf. James Allen Jerchik. Alex Robert Kabish Aaron Michael Kozilek Corinne Catherine Keller Carlos M. Kellogg Aiden David Kelly Ethan C. Kern. Dylan A. Coiler. Gavin John Kilford. John E. Cleditis. Brady Aaron Kleinschmidt. Kale I. Plink. Ashton L. Lipinski. Timothy M. Noel. Michael T. Napa. Noel Wayne Knudsen. Peter R. Koch. Anna Marie Kolakowski. Joseph Jacob Coy. Ben E. Foreman. Alexander J. Corum. Nolan A. Portendick. Kyle R. Costa. Caleb John Katowski. Ethan Joseph Kowalinski. Brian Kratz. Alexis Croissants. Theodore C. Price. Luke H. Krieger. Joseph Adam Cool. Dylan B. Cuts. Tyler Matthew Lang. Samuel Robert La Paz. Jackson Laufer. Hannah R. Lautenschlager. Jacob Scott Lavoy. Shayla Renee Lefebvre. Edward Joseph Lemke. Matthew M. Lemke. Matthew Leskinen. Margaret Lesko. Jacob L. 
Let the ball. Eric C. Levenhagen. Joshua Jerome Ligman. Derek William Lindala. Max Rollins Lindhorst. Ashley Marie Leffler. Richard S. Lesher. Ryan Christopher Loomis. Quinton Angelo Loyo. Lee Michael Lundy. Samuel V. Mack. Eric W. Madsen. Colin L. Majerus. Simon Peter Manley. Derek Gale Mann. Dylan Charles Marking. Andrew James Martin. Matthew John Martinson. Mitchell A. Matley. Jaime M. Masaba. Dennis Ray McCauley. Leah M. McDonald. Benjamin Nolan Medved Andreski. Steve Garland Meeker. Dominic Spiro Mahalos. Mitchell J. Marin. Ryan L. Miles. James W. Merkel. Jack Messer. Kelsey M. Mevis. Seth G. Mahalski. Matthew L. Mickelberg. Donald C. Minky. Mark Anthony Monroe. Josh Aaron Montano. Jesus Francisco Montoya. Rogelio Mora. Mariah Louise Mortensen. Jacob Andrew Muller. Jacob R. Muller. Justin Alec Myers. Alexander J. Nader. Dakota Nauer. Ryan Michael Naylor. Michael Jerome Nee. Michael S. Nelson. Andrew Nickel. Brandon T. Nightingale. Anna Elizabeth Novacek. Joshua Roman Nowak. Eric Ogburn. 
Alejandro Ordaz Martinez. Callan Arthur Otis. Corey Michael William Otto. Joseph L. Pennington. Federico Perez. Matthew J. Perkins. Joshua Nathaniel Peterson. Samantha Rose Peterson. Austin Montgomery Plot. Brandon S. Papel. Mikhail Gordon Poff. Megan Jane Pallet. Joe Christopher Poquette. Jose Carlos Portugal. Austin Prusinski. Peter Purvis. Sadie J. Radanovich. Ben L. Radke. Samuel Joseph Ramirez. Michael D. Radichak. Eric Mitchell Ravetto. Daniel R. Reed. Anthony John Rabine. Luke O. Reish. Justin Remela. Ian Remington. Christian Michael Reno. Susan Joy Rickett. Jenna May Ridgeway. Adam Richard Riepel. David Robinson. Joshua Frederick Retz. Alexander Rosen. Eli A. Ross. Cameron B. Rutchick. Bregan Lawrence Ryan. Austin Michael Ryerson Brunette. Joseph C. Sarnowski. Ty C. Sattler. Zachariah Allen Shapansky. Nathaniel John Sherritt. Brady Jonathan Schmidt. Ryan J. Schmidt. Dalton John Schmitz. Joseph R. Schneider. Zachary Schneider. James Francis Schrader. Wyatt Shu. Aaron Tyler Schultz. Joshua Darrell Schultz. Matthew S. 
Schultz. Stone Schweitzer. Adam John Scott. Jair D. Scott. Nicholas Allen Shane. Thomas Jack Sheehan. Cameron A. Sheehan. David Robert Sherman. Brian Wayne Small. Theodore James Smirid. Connor C. Smith. Floyd G. Smith. Richard Scott Smith. Zilly Andreal Smith. Sean Snow. Christian J. Sobecki. Jason Solberg. Dustin O. Spears. Isabella Alexandra Speck. Greg W. Stafford. Alan Jacob Steger. Nicholas Gordon Stenz. Bryce Robert Steffen. Raymond C. Stewart. Riley W. Stewart. Jeremy Brennan Stubb. Jean E. Stone. Daniel Sturridge. Aaron Thomas Sweeney. Cooper Scott Tamblin. D'Angelo Tatum. Mark A. Teofilo. Tyler R. Terrian. Brady M. Tharp. Andrew D. Phil. Gregory Donald Teets. Todd Daniel Tiffany. Alexander J. Trevino. Mason J. Trippy. Richard M. Turtenwald. Alexander Urbina. Jacob James Valentine. Wa Bang. Logan D. Van Sistine. Lucas W. Van Susteren. Donald F. Van Triest. Eric B. Vega Pena. Mary Vongerath. Riley E. Walsh. Thomas James Wangerin. Connor J. Weber. 
Dylan Joseph Weber. Gabrielle M. Weber. Jacob J. Webster. William Joseph Weiss. Elizabeth A. Welter. Emily Noel Wendor. Daniel James Whipple. Jacob A. Whiteside. Zachary Charles Williamson. Joshua L. Wasatsky. John P. Whitney. Louis J. Wozniak. Michael Allen Wykland. Keelan Wysocki. Anthony Shong. Kenji Chimeng Yang. Sean L. Yankee. Maxwell Stephen Yost. Brett Godfrey Young. Austin Scott Zelensky. James Savaletta. Jeffrey D. Zelko. Andrew James Zenesek. Brandon Owen Zettelmoyer. Christopher Grant Zinke. Zach Zingtime. Chad A. Zweifel. Taylor L. Zwerlein. Good morning. My name is Kim Ehlert, Dean of the School of Business. Our school offers a variety of programs designed to provide students with the practical, hands-on knowledge critical for success in today's local, national, and global marketplace. Programs within the School of Business prepare students for a wide range of careers while focusing on skills needed for nonprofit and for-profit agencies, service-based organizations, manufacturing companies, the hospitality industry, and more. It is my privilege today to honor the outstanding student award recipient for the School of Business, Ryan Fields. Ryan is graduating from the Database Specialist Program. Some of his accomplishments include serving as a tutor for many different courses, among them Advanced SQL, Intro to SQL, and Data Modeling. Working as a student worker in the Information Technology Student Center and presenting at virtual open houses for the Database Specialist Program. Congratulations, Ryan. And now I'd like to introduce the business graduates who are participating in today's ceremony. Annabelle Aguilera. Ronald Justin Arroyo. Adrian A. Bain. Renee Ann Bauer. Justin Clay Bergman. Teresa Balhagen. Alexis Ann Bresnik. Nicholas Carl Brown 
Madeline Churchill Brownray. Mitchell Allen Book. William Jerome Buchholz. Stephanie Bilo. Adrian Casares. Nicole Page Cheeseman. Christine Cheeves. Jerry Chu. Kim Y. Sinar. Angelina Bella Cisneros. Cecily S. Coates. Brayton T. Cook. Christine April Cotter. Mary Rose Courchain. Daniel Eugene Chekowitz. Mark William Chekowski. Hui G. Dow. Marissa M. Derringer. Katie Linda Dingman. Ivan N. Duckhorn. Emmanuel Demetrius Dugar. Kira Nicole Evley. Jacob D. Ellingbo. Caden James Enters. Jamie Lynn Erickson. Ian B. Fay. Ryan J. Fields. Jacqueline Mary Fixer. Kayla L. Frank. John R. Furry. Lauren Christine Genthy. Nathan Allen Girth. Javier Arden Gomez. Sarah Francis Gordon. Joshua James Gossett. Samuel D. Grochowski. Joseph Alexander Gungal. Gianna O.K. Guao. Peyton E. Guyat. Liridana Halami. Jonathan Walter Hall. Kayla Jen Hollinger. Jacob Michael Harris. Lauren K. Heisland. Jessica Y. Hill. Valerie A. Horstman. Ezekiel Hossagen. Neil D. Howard. Juan H. Huyen. Aaron Scott Jack. Elizabeth Ann Jacobs. Madeline Noel Jones. 
Jacob Kazmarek. Michael Joseph Harris. Dominic James Cavallari. Tyler J. Kelly. John E. Cladidas. Evan Andrew Cope. Sarah Jane Cookta. Cody R. LaPlante. Catherine Ann Latawia. Benjamin Jacob Lathrop. Stuart Allen Lee. Amber Nicole Lilia. Crystal A. Lobsack. Kyle Gordon Luckow. Lisa M. Lyons. Anne Marie Mahaney. David M. Marquardt. Autumn Brooke McDaniels. Susie T. McGuire. Eric A. Medina. Michelle Lynn Mermolia. Jake Miro. Christiana Mahovic. Jason A. Miller. Kayla Rose Mishikowski. Christika Ora Rose Munoz. Christopher J. Thomas Nardi Dabble. Damian Edward Nelson. Matthew Robert Nelson. Rebecca Lee Nelson. Conrad Volker Newman. Alexandra Noel Nugent. Emily Nunez. Jonathan M. Oberst. Christine M. Ochaki. Michael Dennis Olson. Charles J. Ortega. Cheryl M. Pavic. Jenny Marivette Palma Martinez. Te Kirit Patel. Christopher E. Pavelsek. Elena C. Pease. Elijah Egan Perez. Hunter Charles Pira. Theodore H. Peterson. Sarah Beth Plohaki. Angel Samea Purifoy. Danielle Jordan Rademacher. Stephen E. Radichel. Dominique S. Radiker. Bobby Joe Reed. Jordan William Rabine. 
Brittany Rizudic. Ian N. Riley. Anthony Thomas Ripley. Jennifer Rivera. Heather Ray Rausch. Jack L. Runkle. Hala I. Salad. Sukari T. Sanford. Zachary C. Schmitz. Hilary M. Schroeder. Jasmine D. Schultz. Naisha LaFay Simmons. Madeline Bailey Slusar. Anna Joan Smith. Samantha Viola Smith. Sean Frank Strode. Rosetta Latrice Strong. Christopher S. Till. Devin C. Turner. Samantha Sue Uselman. Ryan Joseph Van Frechen. Tara A. Viegas. Rebecca Rose Vilwak. Nathan Thaddeus Wambach. Sarah Wazalewski. Nucci N. Weber. Alexandra R. Wheeler. Caitlin L. Wilson. Kang Shong. Jordan Yeno. Joseph T. Young. Savannah Marie Youngberg. Crystal Faith Zagorski. Caroline S. Zettel. Jennifer Christine Zitch. Good morning, my name is Michelle Nelson, Dean of the School of Health. Graduates from the School of Health are well respected in the healthcare community, and many graduates obtain jobs prior to graduation. Additionally, our graduates consistently achieve impressive pass rates on board and certification exams. It is my privilege today to honor the Outstanding Student Award recipient for the School of Health, Kimberly Deering. Kimberly is graduating from the nursing program, and some of her accomplishments include participation in the American Association of Critical Care Nurses Organization, membership in Phi Theta Kappa and the National Technical Honor Society, and volunteering as a volleyball coach for USA Volleyball, Badger Region, and the McGuanago Parks and Recreation Department. Congratulations, Kimberly. And now I'd like to introduce the School of Health graduates who are participating in today's ceremony. Tammy K. Aller. Julia Rose Anderson. Jada Marie Andler. Alexis E. Arechiga. 
Iridian Ariaga Gonzalez. Emily Louise Asmondi. Jessica Lee Balfons. Nikisha S. Bachelor. Annalisa M. Beck. Mackenzie Berg. Alyssa Nicole Blado. Stephanie Ann Bourget. Courtney C. Rausch. Kevin Michael Bryden. Mariah A. Cadena. Kathleen H. Carter. Viridiana Estefany Castro Peralta. Haley Pamela Corral. Derek J. Chikowski. Madeline Depka. Ashley N. Dillett. Kimberly Dawn Deering. Megan Elise Dorr. Alyssa Ann Dooley. Ashley Nicole Doomer. Morgan Fenninger. Alyssa Marie Fumfredo. Caitlin M. Fritz. Josue Corita. Carissa Nicole Garcia. Kelsey Lynn Gavin. Daniel S. Easy. Carly Marie Gorski. Jessica Catherine Gerke. Angela Sue Palmstead. Sarah Catherine Patton. Dawn Marie Paws. Rachel A. Heller. Constance Helm. Emma Joy Herder. Andrea Beth Hick. Cassie Marie Hoffman. Sarah Ann Impola. Sean P. Jaquish. Kim Marie John Sutton. Alyssa Marie Johnson. Diane Renee Johnson. Selena R. Kikanovich. Abigail Cole. Courtney L. Kozrowski. Olivia Ann Kress. Zoe I. Kress. Katie Marie Krieger. Michael William Kraska. Amaya 
Jordan Michelle Lee, Lindsay M. Lehman, Kristen Nicole Lemke, Carla Jean Leonhardt. Amanda Ray Levenhagen. Rebecca Joanne Leeson. Jacob John Lipinski. Alexandra M. Lipsky. Bridget Caroline Lutz. Nicole Elizabeth Mack. Cynthia Martinez Morales. Serena Lynn Martinez. Catherine E. Machar. Derek Mendez. Alejandra Mendoza. Lauren Mackenzie Mentz. Jenny L. Merrick. Jessica Rose Munier. Heidi L. Meyer. Christina Nicole Misiuda. Nancy A. Mokasi. Kristen S. Monroe. Simone M. Morrison. Tori Elizabeth Neal. Christina Papalardo. Chase Francis Parker. Dion G. Peterson. Joy E. Powers. Isabella Nicole Probsting. Yelena Purpa. Armando C. Ramirez Jr. Ulyssa Ramos Sanchez. Jordan Elizabeth Real. Heather Marie Ritchie. Alejandra Rodriguez Hernandez. Michelle M. Reglin. Nicole A. Ross. Melissa L. Ryan. Natalie L. Schumacher. Amanda Leah Schweikel. Trisha Ann Scott. Kimberly Joe Schapansky. Yajaira L. Serratos. Lacey Nicole Sheehan. Anna Marie Sedello. Rachel Marie Siebenauer. Isabella Kathleen Sigmund. Victoria Kathleen Mary Simon. Sydney Marie Soderbeck. Hannah Elizabeth Stroop. Leslie A. Sutherland. 
Erin Christine Scholiga. Megan Elizabeth Talma. Joshua A. Templeton. Lindsay Teagues. Heather R. Vieira. Roxana Adalis Villarreal Rivera. Bren Von Von Linger. Teresa Marie Wagner. Cassandra Ray West. Olivia Rose Wilds. Lauren Ashley Williams. Alexandra T. Wolf. Kelly M. Wolf. Fua Yang. Elizabeth N. Yakovich. Hello, my name is Greg West, Dean of the School of Protective and Human Services. Our school is charged with preparing students for roles in which they protect the public safety and improve the lives of others. Individuals with careers in these fields work with children, adults, families, and communities while fostering a commitment to service and a desire to improve the well-being of others. Graduates are qualified, confident, and ready to make this world a better place. It is my privilege today to honor the Outstanding Student Award recipient from the School of Protective and Human Services, Jonathan Donner. Jonathan is earning his Human Services Associate degree and has been involved in WCTC activities, including the Black History Month What Lives Matter event, Cesar Chavez Day event, and QPR for Suicide Prevention. Additionally, he's a member of the National Technical Honor Society. Besides earning the Outstanding Student Award, Jonathan is also this year's GRIT Award winner. This award is given to an individual who has worked through significant challenges and has demonstrated a perseverance and passion for long-term goals. In recent years, Jonathan has dealt with personal and health obstacles along with enduring the tragic deaths of his two brothers. While it hasn't been easy, he has worked through his challenges and is proud to be graduating today with the hopes of one day becoming a psychiatrist. Congratulations on your awards, Jonathan. And now, I'd like to introduce the School of Protective and Human Services graduates who are participating in today's ceremony. Nana Alam. Jorge Arellano. Cameron B. Vandermeer. Kathleen Rose Bates. Anna Becker. Justine P. Bembenek. Allison Arlene Bender. Marley Benitez Jaramillo. Jade Besson. Christina Marie Bettencourt. Stephanie M. Bow. Dylan J. Bratz. Benjamin Joseph Brenner. Nathan J. Brown. Andrew Joseph Brownson. Ryan Grace Burba. Marley Rose Campbell. Audrey Joe Carroll. Guadalupe 
Jocelyn Catalan Garcia, Christian Angel Choinaki, Caitlin Rose Chowaniak, Kira Lee Faye Crawford, Erica Nicole Curry, Charlia F. Dalberg, Melissa Joanne DeRome, Jonathan J. Donner. Noah M. Douglas William S. Duncan Julianne Ruth Dyke Gabrielle Richard Easley Daniel James Ebert Allison Renee Folkman Tanner B. Fritz Nicholas William Fry Nunziella Maria Fuoti Madeline Nicole Garcia Shaikita Gates Tyler W. Gerber Brad Glichinski Rebecca Laura Glaudemans Sarah Gonzalez Cassidy Lynn Grazer Jennifer Rose Gretzinger Aaron Frost Harkness Marissa J. Hatch Layla Montserrat Hernandez Salinas Hunter Thomas Harold. Madeline Ronnie Lee Hibbert. Paige Marie Hibben. Elizabeth Louise Hitchcock. Madeline Ann Hoth. Kaylee Jean Hoffman Mason Robert Howe Matthew R. Jesuits Jessica Rose Jander Colin Daniel Young Emily Rose Collis Dean R. Candler Candace Theodosia Caston Zachary Keller Angela M. Kameni Kaylin Rose Kintop Autumn Cheyenne Kitzman Teak Mackenzie Marie Clamert Allison Amy Knutson Sean J. Kopak Mitchell J. Koppelman Kendra Leanna Kruger Robert Joseph Krieger 
Jocelyn Marie Larson. Mariah L. Lasansky. Shara R. Lasky. Elizabeth Ann Lydell. Madison Summer Lewandowski. Gabrielle E. Ligro. Jamie Christine Liss. Jenna R. Lockwood. Brooke Ann Lushire. Reagan Emily Mann. Michael James Manns Jr. Alexis Victoria Evit Mara. Natalie S. McDermott. Courtney Michelle McDonald. Donjere Nicole McGruder. Joseph Nicholas McKenzie. Brittany N. B. Meeker. Ashley Rose Mim. Shay Ann Morrison. Mercedes A. Mueller. Hannah Catherine Nockery. Zachary Thomas Nair. Kelsey P. Noy. Holly B. Newbert. Dominique Eddie Owens. Maritza Estefania Paniagua. Jessica Melanie Partida. Kate G. Paskowitz. Kaylin P. Peeper. Olivia Marie Pozorski. Samantha Ann Purcell. Brooke Constance Ranta. Allison Ratachuk. Lauren M. Reck. Amanda Ray Remchek. Megan Elizabeth Riker. Elena M. Ranelli. Aresha Robinson. Forrest J. Rodman. Marina May Samens. Lauren Elizabeth Champers. Caitlin Schrader. Grace Lynn Shaw. McKenna R. Siegenthaler. Luke A. Sikorsky. Jasmine Abria Smalley. Alexis M. Smith. Ethan Flynn Alton Smith. Kirsten Elizabeth Sturl. Brendan T. Stell. 
Donald James Stenelson. Sawyer Jason St. George. Eileen Melissa Stickman. Taylor Stiff. Savannah Joy Stigler. Hannah Danielle Still. Mason S. Stott. Patricia Subada. Lucas Carvalho Sullivan. Marissa Illy Tadasek. Courtney Ann Taylor. Jada Brianne Tetzla. Brittany Lynn Thoreau. Isabella R. Tolfa. Haley Sue Toman. Angela Marie Ullenberg. Brennan Edward Vallier. Peyton Hannah Vandermeer. Trin D. Lowe. Kelsey M. Wallen. Megan J. Weeks. Melissa R. Weiss. Emily Noel Wendorf. Richard Andrew Weezy. Jenna Joanne Wilkie. John C. Will. Alexis Lee Williams. Jessica Ann Williams. Drew M. Ripperman. Ashley M. Word. Ping Zhao. Rachel M. Zilma. Peyton N. Zudik. Mark S. Zilla. By the authority vested in me by the state of Wisconsin and the Waukesha County Technical College Board of Trustees, I confer upon each student the appropriate certificate, diploma, or associate degree to which you are entitled, with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Now, if you are wearing your mortarboard, transfer your tassel from your right to your left, which symbolizes your move from graduation candidate to graduate. Family and friends, I am pleased and honored to present to you the class of 2021 graduates. All of us from Applied Technology would like to congratulate the spring 2021 graduates on such a great accomplishment. Congratulations and we wish you the best of luck. All right. Congratulations graduates of spring 2021. School of Business is so proud of you. Woo Congratulations, WCTC Spring of 2021 graduates. You've earned it. We're so happy and so proud of you. We can't wait to see what your next steps are going to be and what your successes will be for the future. We wish you the very best. Congratulations on everything that you've accomplished. Remember, if you can dream it, 
you can bake it. Congratulations! Bake, bake us, us proud! Cuisine from the A building, and remember, always cut away from you. It's never about trying to get to the top as fast as possible. Take the stairs, not the elevator, to be more successful. Congratulations, class 2021. From the services and the bookstore, we wish you all the best. Woo! From the School of Health, best of luck on your new career in healthcare. From the Surgical Technology Program, congratulations. We are so proud of you. Good luck. From Angela, Vicki, and Cheryl, thank you for letting us be a part of your journey. Congratulations. From the Dental Assisting Program, congratulations, you all did it, great job. Hey School of Nursing, one chapter is ending, but a new one's beginning. You did it, way to go. From the School of Protective and Human Services, way to go graduates. Shout out to the foundations of teacher ed students, great job. To the Human Services graduates, an amazing job you've done this year, way to go. To the Criminal Justice Studies, Fantastic job this year. Good luck in your future. To cosmetology students, great job. Way to go. Graduating class of May 2021, you have finished your education with grace and dignity. We couldn't be prouder. Yay! Yay! Wow, you did it. You made it to the end here and we could not be more proud of you graduates. Congratulations on all that hard work. It's really paid off. Sorry we can't be there in person to wish you well, but I wanted to say best of luck. I hope you enjoyed your time at the college. We will definitely miss you. Take care. To all May 2021 grads, particularly those in fire and EMS, you have done an amazing job. Just think what you're accomplishing all during the pandemic. Thank you for caring for our citizens as first responders. Congratulations! We hope you design a future that is worthy of your talents. And remember that the most important lessons you learned here were about yourself.